Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, welcome to Question of the Week with me, Katie Haler. This week, we're sounding out this question from John. As all sound is simply vibrations in the air and therefore musical notes are the same, then why do we hear the same note as a different sound when played on different instruments? Why does an A-sharp played on a piano sound different from an A-sharp played on a trumpet? Here's Mike Newton from the University of Edinburgh to sharpen our senses to John's musical musing. The sound produced by a musical instrument isn't in fact just a simple vibration, but is made up from many different vibrations happening at the same time. For example, when you pluck a guitar string, the sound you hear is remarkably complex. Such a sound is made up of many simple vibrations, each with its own frequency, and all of which sound together. For the guitar string, the frequencies of these sound components, as we call them, are related to each other in very simple ways. The lowest frequency component in the sound is called the fundamental frequency. The next lowest is called the second harmonic, and it has a frequency that's almost exactly twice that of the fundamental frequency. The next highest again is called the third harmonic, and its frequency is three times that of the fundamental. And so it goes. A typical piano note might include several dozen frequency components. So the sound produced by any musical instrument is made up of different amounts of these tones. The particular combination of these tones is what makes instruments sound unique. But why do these combinations differ? The two most important factors here are the size and shape of the main resonating components of the instrument, such as the guitar string and body, and the way the vibrating parts of the instrument, such as the strings, are driven into motion. This is why a guitar can sound both dull if gently plucked with the pad of your finger, or bright if aggressively struck with a plectrum. Right then, Mike. Get some instruments out of their cases and play as an example. Two musical sounds with different amounts of exactly the same simple building block tones. One is clearly a trumpet and the other unquestionably a guitar. The basic sound components are the same in these examples and so the perceived pitch we hear as listeners is the same. But the sonic texture of each of the sounds is clearly different. This sonic texture is a property of sound somewhat loosely referred to as timbre. As human listeners, we have a pretty incredible hearing system that analyzes the multiple simultaneous sonic building blocks in any sound and weighs them all together so that we only hear something that seems relatively simple. So there you go, John. The frequency or pitch of a piano A sharp, for example, is the same as a trumpet's A sharp, but the different combinations of sound components contributing to the overall signal of a note, explains why the timbre, or sound quality, sounds different. And that's how we pick out one instrument from another. Next time, we'll be thinking over Kevin's tiring topic. When we exercise our bodies, we get tired and have to stop after a bit, but eventually we get fitter and more endurant at those tasks. I know we can suffer fatigue in certain mental faculties too. Decision fatigue springs to mind. If we perform difficult mental tasks, does our endurance at those tasks improve over time too? Or are we doomed to make poor decisions in the afternoon forever? And if you think you know the answer, you can email chris at thenakedscientist.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or you can join in the debate on the forum. That's thenakedscientist.com slash forum. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.